ESA's last ATV, or Automated Transfer Vehicle ATV-5, is named after Georges Lemaitre, a Belgian priest and professor from the Université Catholique de Louvain, a man who left his mark on modern-day cosmology. In 1927, Lemaitre published his first great work, a homogeneous universe of constant mass and growing radius accounting for the radial velocity of extragalactic nebulae in which he explained the theory that today is known as Hubble's law. Le Maître explained uh, Hubble's law, uh, saying that in fact uh, galaxies are not moving in uh, the universe, but uh, the, the universe is uh, growing, and in fact the, the, the distances between the, the galaxies are uh, growing with this uh, growth of, of the, the universe. With this proposition, Lemaitre went against the notion at the time that the universe was static and that galaxies were moving inside it, as stated by his friend and colleague, Albert Einstein. In 1931, Lemaitre proposed another revolutionary theory, the so-called primeval atom hypothesis. This hypothesis is uh, the, the following. If the universe is expanding, when uh, you see the behavior uh, in the past, then the universe is contracting. And, and then uh, Le Maître think about a state, an initial state, where all the matter and energy of the universe uh, is condensed in one quantum. And this quantum was called the primeval atom hypothesis. And Le Maître believed that this quantum uh, was the, the origin of all the, the matter of the universe. Lemaitre's opponents dismissed the idea and called it mockingly the Big Bang. But Lemaitre thought this event could be proven by research of cosmic radiation. Of course, one part of the rays could have escaped this process of condensation. And there we have perhaps a different element, maybe in the theory of the primeval atom that a part of these rays have escaped, hardly containing any hydrogen, and that one might find these rays inside the cosmic radiation. History proved Lemaitre right. Though he was wrong about their nature, these leftovers of the Big Bang are omnipresent in the galaxies, a phenomenon known as CMB, or cosmic background radiation. These contributions made Lemaitre a true pioneer of modern cosmology. We can say that originality, the, the first originality of Lemaitre was to introduce uh, history, uh, the history of, uh, of the universe. Now, George Lemaitre will be remembered in history once again.